everybody, it's Mrs. Roberts here from the library. Uh, April is National Poetry Month and um, there's a lot of great poetry books in the library. I, I brought a couple of them home with me. I brought one of my very favorite ones. This is Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. And you may have seen this in your teacher's classroom or maybe you even have your own copy at home, um, but it's a great book. There's a couple of other ones by Shel Silverstein. You can tell his books because they usually are um, the ones that are in black and white um, so they're real easy to pick out on the library shelves. Our poetry is located in section 811, 811, that's our Dewey Decimal number on there, the call number. So um, today the concrete poem is what we're going to be looking at. Concrete poems are super easy and fun to work with. I'm going to give you an example here from Shel Silverstein's book that I think you'll like. It's very, very fun. I'm not going to tell you what that shape is because you're going to know as soon as I read the poem. Are you ready? Here we go. Please do not make fun of me and please don't laugh. It isn't easy to write a poem on the neck of a running giraffe. So you can see Shel Silverstein decided to make his poem look like the shape of what he was writing the poem about. So I have a few steps for here, here for you to follow and you'll be able to go to the activity board. There's also going to be a link um, included there for you to go to uh, a website where you can learn more about poetry. So a concrete poem, there are four easy steps. Step number one, think of a shape. Think of a shape of an item. Some examples would be a rainbow, a baseball, a flower, even a person. It could be a stick figure. Um, I chose a cloud because I'm not very good at drawing and that's about as talented as my drawing skills are. So a cloud I thought would be very easy for me to draw. Step two, brainstorm words or phrases about your shape. So for a cloud, for instance, I wrote words like fluffy, cotton, gray, in the sky would be a good phrase, um, pink at sunset rain. Um, so any words you associate with your shape or your subject that you're writing about. Step three, draw the outline of your shape. Now I suggest you use pencil because that way if you make any mistakes or you want to change it, then you can change it easily without wasting a whole lot of paper. Now, once you draw your shape, you're going to take all those words. This is step number four. Take all of that text, all those words, and you're going to write that inside of your shape. Now at the end of the video, I'm going to show you my example with the steps so you can pause your screen and look at it. But again, on the activity board, you should be able to find those things as well. I hope you have fun with the activity. I'd love to see some pictures, maybe have your folks upload them um, to our district um, through Facebook or someplace or send them to your teachers in your Google classrooms. Um, I think they would enjoy seeing them too. So hopefully have fun. Uh, I miss you all and we'll talk again real soon. Bye.